basically right now everything is just a mess like I want to clean up now everything is just a mess Hi guys, so welcome to another short vlog. Uh, I know last time I said I'm gonna vlog about my tap, but today this is gonna be a special vlog. Uh, I ordered a, a hanging shelf that I'm gonna put somewhere here and a driller so that I can do DIYs around and stuff like that. I'm gonna be unboxing it, I'm gonna try to put it in. Um, I ordered this through Amazon, the both of the items, the driller and the hanging shelf. So I'm gonna unbox them for this video. Okay. This is the uh, or this is the hanging shelf. Side. This is the, the driller from Amazon. Okay, let's go ahead and tear this. A cordless uh, driller. You can see it. I'll just put this box aside and let's open this baby. So I'm gonna put this aside as well. So this is the Jing Sit Professional Power Tools Cordless Drill Driver. It's 12 volts, powerful and denning. Two battery 1.5 H lithium variable speed LED light speed is 0 to 400 um, R min, 0 to 105 R min. <coughs> so as um, if you have, might have observed especially those who are not very familiar with uh, with tools and whatnot, but you will be able to see different kinds of voltages of different kinds of drills. Now it's very important that you know exactly how you're gonna use it. So it's not exactly like, like the bigger the voltage, the better. Based from what I've read, it's not always the case because you have to consider how you're gonna use it. So if you're not so much of a heavy user, then probably you would go for a 12 volt um, driller, or yeah. But if you're just into like screwing and you know the basic stuff around, that's where the 3.6 volts come in. Um, because their main function is just normally for screwing things and unscrewing things, stuff like that. So if you're not so much of a heavy uh, user, then just go with the 3.6 volts. And then if you're like in a situation where you are a little bit, you um, 
you're not a heavy user but you tend to do more than just the regular screwing unscrewing and a little bit of drilling then the 12 volts is just perfect for you and I find that just the sweet spot of what I plan to do so this um, cordless driller comes with a lot of stuff included the drilling bits and screwing bits as well so you have the handling instruction I don't know what these are for but they come with it we'll see how what's this for More. And, and of course the driller yep there you go Ooh. And then the extra batteries. There you go. Um, of course, the charger. We have the charger there. And some other stuff that comes with it. Uh, if you can see it. Oh, yeah. Some screw bits. Um, and other stuff. And then your drilling bits as well, they're here. And the extension, like for example, there are areas where they are hard to reach. Now this is perfect for for those uh, for that kind of um, situation where the corner that you're either drilling or screwing or unscrewing is um, a tight area and you can't reach it without an extension so this is really handy um, and then it also comes to like the manual screw so if you just need like a uh, like you feel like you want to tighten it manually then this is very handy yep that's basically it for the tool So I'll be ready for more drilling. So watch out for that. You know, it's important that you have like uh, tools that you can use around for DIYs and stuff like that. They should come pretty handy. Alright. Alright, so since I have the newly bought uh, tools and the floating shelf, so we will definitely put this to the test. What's good about this um, shop that I bought is that you have the option to use screws or the non-marking um, nails or uh, that comes with it. So it's really up to you if you have if you want it screwed or not. You have the choice. So I really don't know what this is for, but I think this is for the like the leveling or some sort. Future and carpentry. What do you guys think? Hi. So I'm trying to put the, the shelves now.
do it. I never know this is really hard. Well, it's not really that hard, but you just have to at least know what you're doing. Just look at that. Look at that. I think that looks good. What do you guys think? I think I really did a good job there. Although I'm sweating and all that jazz, but I think it was well worth it. Now I can hang some of this stuff here. Alright. Good job, that was a bit tiring, but I think we all did a good job. Now I'm gonna clean up and then make the final look of our shelf here. I'm just gonna clean up everything so that, you know, it would look good. Basically right now, everything is just a mess. Like, I need to clean up now. Everything is just a mess. So yeah, it's I really need to clean up. Everything is just a mess right now. Look. Look. I need to clean up. Alright, so this is the final look of my little DIY and I think it's really gorgeous it's beautiful what do you guys think so I put in some of my stuff I think I did a pretty good job with it so what do you guys think about the floating shop let me know what you guys think on the comment section and thank you very much for watching I hope to see you on my next video Thanks for watching, keep following.